This is a flash unit. One of the most common types of flash units you'll see in any shop, especially if it's an older shop or if they're running manuals or if they're just getting started. This is probably the most common kind you'll see. The other kinds you'll see around are, you'll see some forced air flash units. You also see quartz flash units. But this is the most common type. Most shops I go to, this is what I see. It's an infrared black body flash. All it means is this. It's, it's a very, very simple piece of equipment. It has a heating element that runs through it. And if you look at the bottom, it just looks like a black panel. But when you plug this in, it is a little bit line heavier than a 110. But when you plug this in, all it does, it just starts heating up and creating good ambient warmth. Um, there's all kinds of different sizes of these. And then you want to start, as this warms up and gets to temp, you want to swing it in and put it onto your platen. It rotates like this. It's also on a base of wheels, but it rotates like this in and out. So when you're not using it, you want to rotate it off your platens, off your press, so you're not burning your rubber. But when you're getting ready to use it, you want to swing it in to where it's supposed to go. Start heating up your pallets, keeping them warm. Now, something to keep in mind, people get way too antsy. They don't warm up their pallets enough. Anytime you're using any press with any kind of flash unit, you want the heat on your press or the warmth of the press and the platens to be a nice, I would consider a simmer at all times. You don't want it too hot and spiking to where you either risk scorching the garments, you are curing the ink on press, you're, you're doing more than just gelling it, you're curing it, or you know it even can start bubbling and pitting your ink. You don't want that. All that's too hot, too high of spikes. But you also don't want cold platens either because you want your flash times to be quick. You want your tack to stay activated. So it's finding that middle ground ambient temperature and keeping the press moving at that, that's the key. There's these wonderful things called a little digital thermometer that you can shoot on the platen at any time to see round about where it's at. You know, somewhere between 180 and 200 is a good spot. You're, the ink is gonna get warm enough to gel in between colors, but it's not so hot that it's curing or it's gonna get so hot that it's sticking to the back of screens anything like that. So remember, keep it at a nice ambient simmer. Now with these that don't have any controls on them, you just plug them in. How do you control that? Well, it's got a mechanism right here. It's got a little clamp that if you hang onto the top part here and you unloosen this, this whole top part slides up and down in there and then you determine where you want to go and slide it up. If at the rate you're printing, it's getting too hot too fast, which is by far the most common thing I see, you need to move it up. You need to keep it at that nice simmer all the time. You know, typically, typically for most manual printers that aren't blazing fast or super, you know, just focused on getting a job done, about four inches off that platen is about what you need. Very, very few people have I seen on a regular daily in and out basis that need to go lower than that. But I go into a lot of shops and I see a lot of people that lower it down more than that. And guess what? They start having problems with their under bases, it bubbling up on them, it creating a rough surface. Uh, you look at their platens and they're all they're all brown and they're burnt and they, they've had way too much heat put on them over time. The, the rubber platens curling up on the corners, that's all symptoms of too much heat. So remember, you don't want no heat, you don't want too hot. You want that nice ambient middle ground simmer all the time. That's it, these babies are simple. That's all there is to use them. They swing in, they swing out, they move up, they move down, you plug them, you unplug them. That's it, that's all there is to it. Just remember, anytime, this is really the key with any of these. If you're not using it, wise to just unplug it. Beginning, end of day. But more importantly than that, when you're not on press and you're not using it, Simple, swing it away from the press. Then you can't catch anything on fire. You can't overheat anything. That's it. There's, there's one simple safety measure with these. Swing it away. That's it. You'll have no problems.